Hi everyone, it's Mikey and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I make my mini envelopes. If you guys have been following me for quite some time now, you often see me stuff these mini envelopes for my 100 envelope things challenge. Um, they're cute, compact, you can select any design based on your cardstock paper and um, it's just a fun way to store your savings challenges. So these were actually the very first items that I ever sold in my Etsy shop and I have since stopped because they're just way too time consuming. And so with 2023 right around the corner, I wanted to put out this tutorial so that if you guys want to do a savings challenge next year, then you can prepare your envelopes. So let's get right into it. The materials you will need are cardstock paper any size will work really but for me personally I like the 12 by 12 sheets because if you're planning to make a big batch or if you're planning to sell these 12 by 12 will get you the most envelopes I believe you can make probably eight envelopes per sheet um, whereas a smaller sheet you could probably get like four or five at the most um, and I also like to purchase my cardstock paper from Hobby Lobby because I find that it's most affordable for the number of sheets that you're getting and for the designs as compared to Michael's I feel like Michael's is kind of limited when it comes to designs and also another thing that I really love about Hobby Lobby sheets is that they have some sets that come with the foiled sheets and I feel like that's just a really pretty accent to add on to your mini envelopes to make them more fun and cute the next item that you will need is a paper trimmer and um, any trimmer will work really and then you'll also need a laminator if you don't have a laminator I will come out with another tutorial that does not involve a laminator and that one should come out in the next week and also you just need a plastic box to store your mini envelopes um, this one I think you can get from Walmart staples or also amazon i will list the link down below for everything that i use in this tutorial you will also need one of these bones to really press down the edges of your envelopes but i think other than that oh and also laminating sheets but other than that that is about it um, it does not involve a lot of materials at all so the first thing you're going to want to do is to take your cardstock paper and decide what direction you want to cut so for example my cardstock paper has a swan and it's sitting and so for these envelopes when we make them we're going to fold them in half and I want to make sure that my swan is sitting upright and it's not you know facing the sides where it doesn't look as nice like if I was to fold my cardstock paper like this the swan will be either upside down um, and so with this one if it was just flowers it wouldn't really matter what direction I cut in but because there are swans I'm going to cut according to how the swan is sitting I'm going to cut my cardstock papers down to two and seven eighths of an inch because my container if I make it any wider than three inches it's not going to sit in here as nicely it might be a little turned um, so you're going to want to measure the container that you're going to put your mini envelopes in and just make sure that the size that you cut is not too wide and also account for the laminating sheet because we're going to add a couple of millimeters to each side to um, make it look nice. If you cut right along the laminating sheet, then it's going to open back up. Now that I have my strips cut, I am going to cut these down to five and seven eighths of an inch because again we are accounting for once it's laminated we want to add just a little bit to the bottom of the envelope so that it looks nice and again like i said a 12 by 12 sheet will get you at least eight envelopes so that's the reason why i like to use 12 by 12 sheets but if you're not planning to make like 100 or 50 envelopes, then you can use a smaller sheet. It will be okay. So here we have eight. And then next, we're going to just fold these in half. Okay. And then I'm going to take my bone and just press on the edge 
to make sure that it is tightly folded. Um, if you don't do that, you'll get some loose folds. And once it feeds through the laminator, uh, the laminator will have more work to do to kind of like really press it down. If you don't have one of these sticks, you can just use a credit card or just something that is hard and just press down along the edge. It will still work the same. All right, so I just finished folding my mini envelopes and I have my laminator going on right now. The way that I like to insert these mini envelopes into the laminating pouch or sheet is when you open this up, there is a sealed edge on one side. So I like to take the folded edge and push that up against the sealed edge. I find that this gives just the right amount of material on this side where I don't have to trim off any axis. And also another reason why I like to put them this way is because when we insert this sheet into the laminator, the sealed edge is going to go in first and that's going to push out all of the excess air that's inside the sheet. So I will be right back. So my mini envelopes have gone through the laminator and now I'm going to just cut these down to size. So I like to cut it down the center and now I just cut along the open edge. So again, we face the folded edge against the top part of the laminating sheet. All we have to do is just cut along the open side. Now that I have finished cutting my mini envelopes along the openings, I am going to run it through the laminator once again because I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but if you look closely, you will see that there is some air bubbles or air gaps along the edges. And if we don't laminate them to seal them completely, and we just go ahead and cut them like this, it's going to open back up. So you're going to want to examine your mini envelopes and make sure that the edges are a tight seal so that once you cut into them, it doesn't open back up like this one. And even if it does, you can just run it through the laminator, but I find that that just wastes so much time. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and laminate them once again. My envelopes are nicely sealed. I am going to cut along the edges and I like to do about an eighth of an inch because I don't want it to be too thick and also don't want it to be too thin where I might have to run it through the laminator one more time to really seal it in. So I find that an eighth of an inch is just perfect. And this is how it will look like. This was one of the ones that I cut along the edge to show you guys how it might open back up if you cut too closely or if you don't laminate them to make sure that they seal completely. So here are the finished mini envelopes. They're so cute and compact. I just love them. If you want, you can go ahead and round off the corners because they are a little sharp and if you're not careful, you can poke or cut yourself. But other than that, these are really fun. I'm going to put the cash into here so you guys can see how it looks like. So if you are using the same container as I am, these should fit perfectly. The money will peek over just a little bit, but it should not be too much where the cover is pressing down on the cash. If you find that the cover is pressing down or you need the envelopes to be a little shorter, then just go with a shorter length when you cut your paper. And then you can also cut off the axis down here as well but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful if you guys did give me a thumbs up and let me know what your 2023 saying these challenges are going to be i will talk to you guys soon on youtube or i'll see you guys over on instagram take care bye